Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. My name is Anna. If you're new here, it is lovely to meet you. Today I am continuing my makeup collection stock take series. So this is basically just where I'm going through my collection, which I keep over there in those drawers. And I am showing you guys through different sections of it so that you can get an overview of the kind of products that have stayed with me in my collection post decluttering and just, I guess, basically a big summary of all my favorite products. Today we're gonna to look at primers and setting sprays. Setting sprays, I only have two in my collection at the moment, so that's kind of why I lumped them in with primers. I was gonna also include powders in this, but now that I've pulled all my products out, I think that'll be a bit much, so I'll record that as a separate video and that can be the next one that goes up after this. I will also have a link to this makeup look in the description below if you're interested as well. So we'll start out with setting sprays. My favourite setting spray that I have in my collection right now, out of the two, is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow setting spray. I love the sprayer on this, it's really long. <laughs> The best way to describe it so I feel like it actually covers my face I can just do like three nice downward strokes and I get really nice even coverage over my face it's not an aerosol it's not like the Morphe continuous kind of setting spray definitely is still like a spritz bottle but it's got a really long spritzer on it so I really love that I also love the product itself it's really nice and glowy doesn't dry my skin out but I do find that it just sets my makeup down um, mainly gets rid of powderiness I'm not sure if it particularly prolongs the wear of my makeup so I guess it's more of kind of a finishing spray than a setting spray but I really like it for that reason I find most proper like setting sprays to be a little bit too drying for my skin the other spray I have in my collection is a bottle of MAC fix plus this is like the pink kind of shimmery edition one I don't really love this one I mean I feel like it's not that much different to the original the the sort of shimmer particles I don't feel like translate very well onto the skin I used to be a huge fan of like fix plus I still think it's a good product, but I just think there are better sprays on the market now, for example, that L'Oreal one, and it's a bit cheaper, so I don't think I would repurchase this after I've finished it up. Moving on to primers. So the first category I wanna kind of discuss are glowy primers. I've got three very luminous glowy primers in my collection. The first is my favorite, which is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. You cannot buy this in Australia anymore, which is heartbreaking, but I do have still <laughs> two backups in my collection, even though I only just opened this one as well. I just finished up another. It's like MAC strobe cream, but a much nicer formula. It's a little bit thinner, and I just think it sits under makeup beautifully. You can mix it with your foundation if you want as well. You could even use it as a highlighter. It's got a very white pearlescent kind of glow to it, so really great if you do have quite a fair complexion like I do. My next favorite glowy primer though is probably a bit more suitable for a wider range of skin tones because it is a bit more of a champagne kind of glow. It's the Physicians Formula Spotlight Primer and this is meant to be like a dupe for the Becca backlight priming filter I think it is the the kind of beigey one and this is so beautiful it is a really gorgeous primer it kind of sets down as well so it doesn't stay too tacky or kind of dewy as such it's just luminous and this just leaves a really gorgeous kind of champagne -y kind of glow to the skin it's very very beautiful I really enjoy using this one I also love the bottle I think it's very beautiful and then the last glowy primer I have in my collection at the moment is one that I'm still kind of making my mind up on I think it's beautiful when it goes on I just struggle to use this with other products. So it's the VDL Lumi Layer Primer. So beautiful when you put this on skin, like wow. But yeah, I do find it breaks down my makeup maybe a little faster. Like I don't mind a primer that doesn't extend the wear of my foundation if it's gonna add glowiness or smooth my texture or whatever. But if it's gonna make my makeup not last as long, that's kind of a problem. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to make this one work best for me. I might even put it into my rotation in my everyday makeup drawer over the next few months just to really try and see whether it's working for me because it's definitely my least favorite out of those three. Then we move into hydrating primers. So these often give a very luminous finish as well, but not so much with glowy pigments or shimmer or anything in them. They're just very sort of hydrating and dewy kind of formulas. Probably the least dewy one, but one that I think is a really fantastic kind of overall smoothing primer as well is the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. This is just, very hydrating basically and it just smooths out your skin and kind of preps it really well for makeup very very inexpensive and I just yeah like the way it kind of smooths as well as hydrates I should have started with my favorite though <laughs> my favorite hydrating primer is definitely the long calm prep and hydrate illuminating makeup primer this is so nice it's quite a different texture it's kind of got like a runny sort of yeah, it's kind of got like a runny sort of orange look to it. It doesn't come off as any sort of color though, but it's just so luminous on the skin and like a dewy kind of 
juicy way. And I really feel like this works so well with the Lancome Taint Adult Ultra Wear foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations. So if you have that, I definitely recommend this primer to go under it. It adds just that little bit of moisture if you find the Lancome perhaps a touch drying because it is a long wearing foundation. Um, this is beautiful to transform it. And then I have probably my least favorite out of the three, although I still think it's really nice. It's just, for me, it kind of is a bit more of just a moisturizer. It's the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer. I mean, the clue is in the name. It is called a priming moisturizer. So I might even end up moving this to my skincare drawer at some stage. It smells very strongly of coconut, but it doesn't actually contain artificial coconut fragrance. Just that instead of using water as the base, it uses coconut water. So that's where you get that really coconutty smell. It's beautiful. I think it's a really nice moisturizer. I'm just not really getting much use out of it as a primer. So yeah, I might end up actually moving that one to my skincare drawer. We have sort of more pore filling primers or putty primers. My favorite by far is the Tarcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is one of the most beautiful primers and that it really works, it really smooths, it really like mattifies but in like a nice way. And I really do find it makes my makeup last longer. The only thing I don't love about it is it does have quite a strong fragrance. So if they just took that out, I mean if Tatcha took fragrance out of all their skincare, I would be so on board with that. Um, because this is a bit more of a makeup product, I can kind of look past it, but I would prefer it without the fragrance. It's such a nice product though, like it really looks beautiful on the skin, it makes your makeup last longer. I think it's wonderful. A little close second though has to be the little e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is commonly associated as a dupe of the Tarcha. I'd say it is a dupe, but like maybe not a bang on dupe. Like it is a little bit of a different texture. It has just a little bit more of a slip to it, I think, than the Tarcha. And I don't think it makes my makeup last like a heck of a lot longer. I think it's really good. And I think for the price, compared to the Tatcha, it is amazing. And like if that Tatcha one is just way out of budget, I'd definitely recommend this. But if I had to pick between the two, I prefer the Tatcha. And then the last product is on recommendation from Taylor Wynn, who's one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I don't think I love it as much as her though. <laughs> I find that for me, I think I find it almost a little too matte. I think that's why I like the Tatcha. It's sort of that nice in between where it does smooth and kind of slightly mattify, you know, those sort of T-zone area, but it doesn't look heavy. I find this one just looks a little bit too matte and a little bit too flat. It just kind of flattens the any luminosity on my face whatsoever, even if I'm just using it sort of strategically. I think it's okay. I think I have to be very careful with it and possibly layer something a bit more luminous like underneath it. Um, it's not my favorite, but I can recognize why she would like it because it really does do what it says. On the packaging. And then I have two primers that don't really fit into a category. They're kind of separate. The first is the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer, so I guess a color correcting primer. I'm probably going to get rid of this to be honest. I think it's an amazing product. It really, it really, really works. If you've got some serious redness, this works so well, but I don't really suffer with major redness on my skin. I just don't really need this in my makeup collection, so I think I will get rid of it. It's quite old as well. It's about two or three years old, so actually on that note, I'll probably toss that one very soon but I think it's an amazing product so I did kind of want to give my recommendation and then we are left with my all-time all-time favorite primer ever 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 and it is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer this is the best primer on the planet and I am yet to find a good dupe yes I have tried the NYX Angel Veil Primer no I do not think it is a good dupe for it I think it's an okay primer but it's not a dupe for this. It's quite a different texture. Doesn't give the same kind of longevity that this one gives. I think this is seriously worth the money. It is so expensive. I'm even struggling myself with the thought of having to repurchase it because I'm down to a very, very tiny amount. Um, and I've been using up some of my other primers lately, especially just around home. I don't need my makeup to last all day at home at the moment, working from home, so I'm not really using it. Um, but when we go back out into socializing in the world again, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to repurchase this one. This is the largest size, like the squeezy tube size. Again, this is well over $100 in Australia, like easily possibly $130. It's so, so expensive. But it makes your makeup last longer. It smooths out your texture slightly. It has a bit of a silicone -y slip feel to it, so not everyone might like that, especially if you have dry skin. I have normal to oily skin, but if you've got very dry skin, you might find it pills on you. Sometimes those sort of silicone ones can, but it's just, it's just so good. It just works. I love it. Um, it's oil free. It has a mineral sunscreen in it too. Obviously don't rely on that entirely because it is also only SPF 15, but that is a nice extra bonus in case you didn't quite put enough on, say, of your proper sunscreen. It's just like that little bit of extra 
bonus protection but that would probably be its only downside I guess is that it does contain a sunscreen so if you're going to use it for an event or like a wedding I wouldn't recommend this one I'd recommend the Tarcha one for sure and that's pretty much why I love like having the Tarcha and the Hourglass is that that one is kind of the one I do for like events or for like flash photography and this one is like my more everyday primer. If you have normal to oily skin and you're looking for something that actually will extend the wear of your makeup, make your makeup go on so much smoother, you have to use less product, definitely reach for this. It's so good. Worth every penny guys. So those are all the primers and sprays in my collection. I think I have a few too many primers to be honest considering I have about three or four that are like my absolute favorites. I could get rid of the rest but obviously since I like to switch things out and show you guys different products that's kind of why I've got few more than I would need. If I was to have a perfect collection that was just for myself it would be like the Hourglass Primer, the Tatcha Primer, the Lancome Hydrating Primer and like the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. Like if I just had those four I think that would cover me for everything. And of course the L'Oreal Spray I would just keep that. So I hope that you guys found this video valuable and useful. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you want to see some of the other categories and make sure you leave a comment below as well letting me know what your favorite primer or setting spray is. But until my next video I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and we'll talk soon. Bye! <laughs>